Good morning my beautiful friends, how are you today? I hope you are well. I've got a little old Primark frock on today because it's looking like it's going to be the only day. <laughs> I'm not sure why I tell you the weather every week but I just feel like I have to because I know you're in different parts of the world. But it's looking like it's going to be alright today and then for the rest of the week. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame but you know what, it's England, we're used to it, Lucy's having a little sleep on the bed. Um, I thought I would do a little video today showing you some new homey bits if you're new here. Uh, we moved into our house in October. Um, subscribe because we're going to be doing some kind of room... Um, I was going to say rehab. We're not doing room, room rehab, like room makeovers. <laughs> not rehabs. Um, and I got some new bits and pieces, so I thought I would show you that today. And also, right at the end, if you are interested, I'm going to be kind of chatting um, about Disney cruise stuff, because we'll be going on a Disney cruise um, just outside England in the summer. So that'll be at the end. Um, but right, let's show you some of the bits and pieces I've picked up. Some of them are actually on offer. And I got them this weekend, so I'm hoping you'll be seeing this on Wednesday that, fingers crossed, they will still be on offer if you want to get them. So you can go and check them out. But right, let's go and have a little look. So first into my little girl's room. If you hear a lot of noise, it's because I live in a part of, um, of Birmingham where there's a lot of hedges and a lot of people are getting their hedges trimmed. Hedge, hedge chat with them. Uh, so, yeah, just some little bits and pieces for my girls' room. Um, first of all, this is not... Well, yeah, this kind of is stuff I've bought. Um, she is really into sewing at the moment. So she went out and bought um, a pack of... Well, now, what is a pack of material called? Like the um, kind of cast-offs. There's a special word for it. I can't remember what it is. But anyway, she bought like a pack for a fiver from home... Um, not Home Bargains, from... Hobbycraft. No, I can't remember it. And she has taken a little Poundland kind of baby cloth and she sewed all that together and she, she's going to hang this in the cage for the rats to be like a little, they have like little kind of sleeping den things. So that was so cute. And also we picked up this, which they're going to love. But I am tempted to do it when I change them so clean it all out put some of the stuff in the wash that's there at the moment and then put this in um but how cool is that we got that from the garden center as well so they're just two little two little silly bits and then I picked up this rug here which I absolutely love it's perfect for a tweenies room or like for a nursery um I think it was in the sale on the Asda website uh, and it came in different sizes. It's really nice. I will say it's not cosy. It's not like a cosy rug, but it's like a durable rug. And because she has the wraps out and about, and um, it's not washable, I don't think, but it wasn't very much. So this will, you know, be do all right for a year or a couple of years. But yeah, really like that. And now what I'll do, I'm going to go upstairs and do a little bit of work, and then I'm going to chat you through. Um, some of the bits and pieces that I got for my boys. Disney inspired room. We are still waiting for a couple. We got a parcel on Saturday and it actually said, it's in your garden, but it's not in the garden. So we're hoping it turns up today. We're missing a little rug. We are missing a sheet and we're missing a t-shirt. So I'm hoping at some point today that turns up or else I'm gonna have to, it's me and parcels, me and parcels. There's always some sort of drama, um, but I have got some really nice bits and bobs from Donnell Mill and also from Asda. But as I say, I'm going to do a quick bit of work and then I will be back, which will be a second for you, a couple of hours for me. Hello, I'm just turning off the um, podcast I'm listening to. It's a new one. I've not listened to it before. It's um, Busy Phillips is doing, oh, hang on. Busy Phillips is doing her best. I've not listened to it before, but it was three hours long, and I was like, well, that will keep me occupied while I do my work. I love a podcast. Let me know if you want me to do my favourites again. I used to talk about podcasts and um, TV programmes and stuff like that. I don't read too many books at the moment, um, because I like watching Real Housewives. Ah! 
<laughs> so you'll be excited to hear put down your cup of tea um stand up and cheer the missing parcel was just delivered so i wondered if maybe he she's always looking at me i wonder if maybe the delivery man went to leave it posted it i'm gonna leave it in the garden then went to leave it in the garden then was like i can't leave it in this garden and then decided against it and then came back today that's what i think is happening you can see i've got my disney cases out ready to prepare for holiday lots of pack with me and all Disney kind of hauls coming up soon. So yeah, let's talk about some homeware that I found. Um, I'm gonna put you on a tripod actually because you're skew if you're a bit wonky. So let's get you on a tripod. Hey guys, that's better. You're not all like slanted now. So yes, if you watch last week's vlog, which went up on, not like uh, Saturday, thank you so much for still watching. I was like, oh, cause it's on a Saturday, no one's gonna watch it, but you watched it. So I was really, really pleased. And if you did miss it, cause you're used to my Sunday uploads, I upload now at seven on a Saturday. And I'm hoping the next video, if it's not the next one, it'll be one of the ones um, in the next couple of weeks will be a decorate in Ethan's room. It doesn't really need painting because actually the man, who um apart from this room which was a bit bashed about but the man the, the paint jobs are really really good so i also wonder how long this bedroom is going to last like this um you may remember that erin had a stitch bedroom a few years ago and i know that she kind of grew out of it after a couple of years so um that's why i'm not spending like loads of money on disney stuff because you never know what's going to happen do you so this is all stuff for my boy's bedroom. He hasn't seen it. I am hoping that he's gonna to go to school one day and then um, I can just do it all and then he can come, come back and it's all there ready for him. That's the, the, you know, the plan. He knows that we're like kind of doing bits and bobs. So the first thing I got from Asda, which was absolutely beautiful, this was online and I love this and I kind of wish that I was gonna have this downstairs in my utility room instead. Um, look at this. So it was eight pound, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them, Walt Disney. I just thought that was lovely, it comes in the frame. They've got a couple of really nice prints, but I thought that, I just thought that was really lovely, really classic, even if he grows out of like, kind of like the kiddie Disney stuff. I still think this is really nice, and you know what, if he doesn't want it in a couple of years, I know a woman who will want it. And that woman is me. Uh, there was a lot on the George um, site Disney stuff that had um, money off and some of these things were like three four pounds so go and check if that's still on I picked up a mini I, th I think it's got a mini and Daisy easy care fitted sheet for a single bed for like literally a couple of quid um, Ethan will happily have that on his bed. He's not like, oh, I can only like Donald and Mickey. Like, he likes them all. So I thought that was really, really good. It's always good to have sheets in the house anyway because, you know, kids can be messy. And actually, I, what I will say, the past 18 months being kind of in this, like, pandemic... I don't know why I'm doing that. The pandemic lifestyle is that the children um touch wood actually haven't had any bugs really there's not been uh, i think we've had like one cold um there hasn't been any sickness bugs because everybody's been keeping away from each other and we're using hand sanitizers um so previously especially if you've got a child that's starting um school or nursery there's, they go for this like having a lot of bugs and maybe if life goes back to normal in September, we'll be back on that track again. But it's always good to have sheets anyway, just in case of you know, accidents, people being sick, people spilling stuff. So what else did I get? Yeah, this was also in the sale. Now, when it arrived, this actually was in the baby section, which is why I think it's quite pale. But it says, friends are the best. Again, a really cute little cushion. Um, again, just a couple of quid. Really like that. There was also um, this one, which I thought was brilliant. I thought it was so 90s. Mickey's friends, and it's got the Fab Five on, and I just thought, 
I thought that was great and again that was in sale I got him this duvet which is, is similar to the cushion and it's Mickey's friends and it's a um the word is not reversible the word is I'm gonna say double-sided so it's got Mickey and friends and then on the other side it's just got like all the Mickey and friends little heads I loved that as well. I thought that was really nice. And I think that, that was... Oh, oh, no, I've also got a rug, which I'm yet to open. This is what just arrived. I'm glad the man didn't keep this in the... Um, I'm glad the man didn't put this in the garden because it would have been absolutely wrecked because it has been um, raining. So that would have been a bit of a nightmare. So this is... Um, this is Disney Baby as well, so this would be like kind of for a nursery, but you have to use it for a nursery, do you? I was just wondering if it might be a bit small. Oh no, it's all right. It's just like a circular rug. Oh, I just thought that was cute. He can sit on that and do his um, Lego or whatever he, whatever he wants to do. Uh, there isn't, oh, we were going to put a desk in, but I'm I'm unsure of to where to get a desk. So I did see in Dunelm, which I also went to, they have like desks that are uh, like foldable ones and Erin has one of them. So it might get one of those and just kind of pop that in his room so he can drag it out whenever he wants to do his crafts and stuff. Because they do homework downstairs, maybe when they get a bit older. So the other shop I went to was Dunelm. I still call it Dunelm Mill. It hasn't been called Dunham Mill for goodness how long. I'm trying to get you a little bit lighter because it's a bit, oh, it's a bit dull. I still call it Dunham because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm living in a decade ago. but um, So if you're not from the UK, Dunham is like a kind of like a home shop it's like a nice home shop has knickknacks has candles has cushions has duvets has all that kind of um good stuff so i went into there and a few items were in the sale and a few items weren't i struggled to get a i couldn't find anywhere online a mickey mouse lampshade and i said like okay what other disney characters would you like it's like toy story so i've got this toy story lampshade i think this is about eight pounds oh look £18, gosh Emma, but I thought that was really, really cool. It's kind of like double, it's kind of like got a double layer, but I thought that was really lovely. I think I really like that. I also got this duvet, which is £15, and this was in the sale, as were, there were some curtains that were like, I think they were like 50% off, so this was £7.50. I mean, that's a scary look. It's, again double-sided it's got um woody on one side and buzz on the other side i think ethan would probably like the woody side but we will find out i'm sure i got this frame because we're going to be putting some i'm going to put some pictures up i like to put pictures up and stuff because i find that that's quite easy to change and swap and i don't have to worry about you know um it's just it's just quite easy to swap where there's wallpaper obviously not quite so easy to swap so it's take the stick off this is whoa what a noise this is 10 pound and it's you got a friend in me i think he'll really like that i just thought that was really cute it's like glass it says you've got a friend in me and then it's got all the toy story characters on so that's really nice he does like toy story um one of my favorite disney memories is him being dressed as buzz when he was really little, so when did we first go to Disney with Ethan? Was he four? So I think he would have been four, maybe five, dressed as Buzz, going to meet Buzz and Woody, and it was just like, you know, one of those like mummy moments where you're just like, oh, my little heart can't take it anymore. So I've got that, and then these were also in the sale, and I thought these are really good, and my plan is, so Disney fans, if you're watching this, you will know that around Disney they do things called hidden Mickeys. So they're like little Mickeys and they're kind of tucked away and you find them and it's really exciting. So I'm going to do some like hidden Toy Story characters. Um, so I'm going to put them in fun places around the room 
and so for example I might have Buzz like standing on like the light switch or I might have Woody in the bookcase and stuff so I thought that'd be really fun. I'm awaiting the arrival of some Mickey heads which I'm also going to put on. These stickers are brilliant, you can um, stick them on, pull them off again with pretty much no, uh, doesn't really wreck it. I mean occasionally you might get one that might pull a bit of paint off but these are these are really really fun and I'm looking forward to the Mickey heads coming as well which was from an Etsy seller and when they come I will show you and then finally this is quite heavy so this is actually this is really heavy this is a Toy Story collapsible ottoman so it's an ottoman for him to put his toys in he has like a basket at the moment um, you will see in the video that I kind of move some bits and pieces around in the room when I when I do the um, actual bedroom video. I've already started to film a bit of it. So I got him this and it's really heavy, really durable and I think this would be actually quite good. He can sit on it as well and he probably can lean on this to do whatever little crafts and stuff he wants to do. So this was a bit more expensive. This was £20 but it looks really nice and again if he does go off Toy Story in a few years we will definitely be able to use this for storage up here um, I could even could even keep all my Disney bits and pieces but the top is soft so it will make quite a nice seat so I really liked that and then finally I sorted through some of Ethan's books um, woo! I wanted to tidy up his bookcase in preparation for like the new bits and pieces come in uh, and he had some Disney books and rather than give them to charity um, I've decided I'm going to go through and well there's two things I might put like the little Ikea shelves we did have some I'm looking if they're still in there that we can reuse from the old house you know the um, the kind of like display shelves um, so we can display Disney books he's got quite a few or I did think, I bought some plain frames, I did think of making some prints and I just thought that would be a really nice print. I don't think that's really... It just says, Woody helped... Oh, I don't know. Toy Story 4 just makes me... Woody enjoyed helping kids and toys and he knew that whatever he went, whichever toy he helped next, he would always have his friends by his side. And I just thought that would be really lovely in a frame. I love it. And also, actually, isn't really the ending of Toy Story 4 either, bizarrely. Um, I don't remember. I don't think that's the ending of... Or is it? Yes. No, it is. It is. It is. I don't know. I, can't remember. I remember crying a lot. Um, I remember Erin being like... Like, she's lost it. And then also Monsters Inc. He likes Monsters Inc. as well. And I thought there was some great, really bright pictures that maybe I could put in some frames of Sully um I thought they'd be quite fun as well so maybe if there's like a bedtimey one of Sully and Boo that would be quite nice because obviously it's in his bedroom you can see I've been thinking about this a lot so I might use that as well so there we go there's the Disney bits and pieces I'm away in a Mickey Mouse clock and the Mickey head stickers and I'm really looking forward to getting it done um, because you know I don't really say things like this but my he's just like a really lovely lovely I can feel myself I feel like I'm getting emotional he's a really lovely lovely little boy um he's just really sweet and he's really kind and I'm really looking forward to making this for him because he is just a real he's like a real sweetie and I know you guys don't really get to see much of the kids um, on, on videos apart from like the odd little trip here or there or the odd photo on Instagram but he's he's really adorable he's really funny um, he is really creative and he's just lovely and he deserves to have a really nice super super lovely room so I can't wait to make it for him right Disney chats okay so if you're not interested in Disney Holiday Chat, I will see you in a few days for another upload. Hopefully it will be Ethan's bedroom, we will see. Uh, so yeah, Disney Chats, I am off on the Disney Cruise in 
you know five or six weeks really excited can't wait you have to be double vaccinated to go on it and there's you know but what is there's it involves quite a lot i have never been on a cruise before so if any of you have ever been on a cruise anywhere let me know it's quite intense we seem to have to book certain things and um book when the time we get on and then if you've done a cruise before you get priority it just seems really 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 intense there's a lot of um moving factors with regards to the kids have to have tests a few days before then we have to have tests when we get there and it is just seems so <laughs> it just seems so intense so i'm kind of trying to not let it like um burst my bubble but I'm getting a little bit confused. There's like one site you have to join up with and then you have to get up at five o'clock in the morning to book this, that and the other. So I think I will, when I'm doing all that, I will kind of take you along for the process. Uh, I am really excited. You know, I've got loads of different Disney outfits and stuff, so I can't wait, can't wait to see Mickey. Can't wait to see the sea. My heart yearns for the sea and it's just something that I really, really missed this past year because Birmingham is so far away from the sea and it's just something I can't wait to see. Even though we won't be able to like paddle in it, we'll be on it. So that's really exciting. But yeah, so I want to know if any of you got any Disney trips planned or any of you hoping to get to Paris before the end of the year? Um, other parts of the country, I mean other parts of the world, our Prime Minister is making announcements, I think today, about what's going to happen with our country and, um, you know, different things that are going to be lifted and stuff. I know in, well, from the America that I've been seeing that um, you don't have to wear a mask if you're double vaccinated and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a lot. I think Steve and I are going to have to sit down and work out exactly what we want to do, exactly what we want to book and make sure you know i like to organize i'm going to print out a list and tick everything out off like if you go on a cruise usually do you have to have like photos taken it's just stuff like this i'm not used to so i would love to <laughs> if you've got any tips for any cruises let me know any cruises let alone disney cruises right i'm off a lot of talk in there i will see you soon um for another oh don't forget it's saturday at seven o'clock in the morning can't wait to see you in the comments. I love you lots and have a really wonderful week. And I think this is the day that England are, do, are playing football. Could be right. So, England. Go England! Right, see you later. Bye, guys.